Hi, I'm Liz Heineke, the author of the new book, Radiant, which is a creative nonfiction book about the scientist Marie Curie and the dancer inventor Loie Fuller. Today I have a super cool science toy, which is actually a piece of early science equipment called a spintharoscope. And a spintharoscope is basically a very early radiation detector that was invented by the scientist Sir William Crookes, who also invented the Crookes tube. And this is cool, it connects Marie Curie and Louis Fuller um, because Marie Curie discovered the element radium, which is the radioactive source in this tube. On this end of this tube, there's a tiny piece of radium salt. In the middle of the tube, there is a screen coated with a chemical called zinc sulfide, which actually gives off flashes of light when radioactive particles hit it. And on this end of the tube, there is a viewing screen. So basically, to see the activity in this tube, you go in a dark room, you look through it, and once your eyes adjust after about 15 minutes, it looks like you're looking at a sea of flashing stars. These flashes of lights are called scintillations. So this is a super cool science toy. Loie Fuller, the dancer inventor who I wrote about, actually carried one of these to the United States with her uh, sometime just after 1903 and showed it to reporters um, on, the, on the dock in New York City. But these are very radioactive. Maybe not, scientists would carry them around in their pockets. Maybe not the best thing to carry in your pocket. Um, this is sort of the predecessor of today's Geiger counter, which detects radioactivity. You can see, if I hold my Geiger counter up to this, can you hear all those clicks? This radium sample is giving off a lot of radioactivity, enough to set off the alarm on my Geiger counter. Luckily, today, um, you can buy much safer, safer versions of spintharoscopes online that contain a very small amount of thorium ore and let you have the same experience without the risk. So, um, once again, this is a spintharoscope, one of the cool science things I talk about in my new book, Radiant.